I'd like to see the whole school in the future covered with the XO laptops and everyone learning with them. The future of these children who have used computers is brighter than the children who have never used computers before. By the way, in the, we are in the computer now, computer what? If you are not computer literate, you are somehow left behind. And these children are now matching with the modern world. Academically, these children are getting a lot of knowledge, a lot of information. Some textbooks have been put on, the, on their laptops. Like there is mathematics, there is social studies, there is drawing, there is art. Very many things have been put on their laptops. Of course, using a school server, which is placed in the library. The children are so eager to explore and learn more. The Kasisi project has 150 OLPC laptops. They are specially designed for uh, education and the demands and needs of uh, schools around the world and especially the developing world. The teachers have several activities that they are using already, uh, including Wikibrowse, which lets them view Wikipedia articles. I'm bringing three new activities to Kisisi School. Uh, one of them is a mapping activity, which lets them use kind of like Google Earth. We started the mapping project by having them zoom out to show the full map of Uganda. And they've seen a map of Uganda before, but they haven't been able to connect it to something relevant to their lives. So uh, I said, first what you should do is find a large city near you, because Kasisi is a very small town in a rural area. And so they zoomed in on the map, just as you would zoom in on Google Earth. And when they got close enough, they could see an image appear where Kasisi School is. And so many students asked me, what is that? And I said, it's a bird's eye view. It's a map of your school from above. And with that, they were able to connect, started to connect that their school could be represented by this 2D map. That is the first step towards understanding how people may use maps for conservation and education. Pupils are very many. Here we have got 1,300, and there are only 21 teachers. So you find a teacher is having almost around 100 plus pupils in his or her class. Before it would be a problem, in fact, you know how primary schools lack these textbooks. So now it is very easy because it, you can, uh, people can get information from the Wikipedia. I think the kids, uh, these kids have been lucky to have the computers. We never had the computers. Uh, when I went to university, I was learning the, com the computers from there. So I see in future these kids growing up knowing their computers so they don't get trouble in their secondary school or universities. And when you are looking for a job now, they ask you, are you computer literate? If you say no, then that one is a disadvantage. Our school now is very congested because of these programs. They want to run away from other schools, come to Kasisi have at least a, a feel, a touch of the computer. These were mysteries, you know? People used to think about a computer. How does it look like? Is it an animal? What is it? And when it came to Kasisi, everyone was excited. The parents, the children, the teachers, at least we are now marching forward, you know, for a brighter and brighter, brighter world.